Again, and a first ace hold serve for Djokovic. I love that play. Had a big win over Guillermo Vilas here on grandstand court back in the day. That was a big time art dealer in Poland. It's a big hold, Al. A different type of ball. Remember, a slice shot will stay low and skid. It will not bounce up. for the ace. Perfectly played by Djokovic. Fifteen thirty. Look at that nice top spin lob. Inside the base on this, how you do it. Get underneath the ball. See how he brushes up the back side of the ball. Very difficult. Very smart volley here. 30 40. As soon as he notices Nadal goes to the slice backhand, he knows that slice is going to float. So he comes up instead of hitting a. It's a big time volley off a big time powerful forehand passing shot. Boom. And you've got to have a firm grip and a firm wrist to handle. Look at the racket as it bounces off. Look at it. See, it just shocks it. Boy, is that a big forehand. It started with the return. Second serve, 85 miles an hour. for this second set.
You're always making decisions out there and choices. Do you take it out of the air? Deuce. With the windy conditions, he elects to let this ball drop. He sets up, picks his target, gets underneath it. The dog guesses the wrong advice from the chair or from their, their box seats. That's his eighth forehand winner. Yes. Steps up to the ball, doesn't wait for it, and drives it. It always comes in the goal on the right far sideline. The ball is got in. It's an interesting challenge. He's at two challenges remaining for the set. Now he's going to lose another one. Shocking, absolutely shocking yeah, in the middle of that rally to Drop pull the shoot, the, the ripcord to end the point in the dynamic rally. Why would you hit that drop shot at that point? That is a brain cramp by Rafael Nadal. There's no reason to hit this shot right here. Look how high it goes and it just sits up for Djokovic. It's going to get loud if he serves an ace right here or wins this, this point and wins the second. Riding the wave of the crowd. We are one set apiece. They're pulling for your guy. You know, they're, they're not pulling for someone to get even. Oh, 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 oh. Lean and mean. Talking about gripping it and ripping it. He moves to the side. And he's not, he'll take it. But there's no way he was aiming. Nice disguise in the drop shot. Djokovic gets all the way up there. Now he's won five straight points to start out this 15. third set. And you see, he, he comes up. It looks like he's going to drive the ball at the last second. See how he just turns the angle of the racket face right there. Nadal has got the... Nadal's looking at the mark, but I, I, he can't afford to ch challenge this right now. Look how he steps forward and just whips across that ball. 
See, it goes forward. That That's the key right there. He doesn't let the ball come to him. He gets his body momentum going. Oh, wow. Another forehand return winner, this time from the deuce court. Watch how he just pivots. It's abbreviated take back because the pace of the serve is 114 miles an hour. That time, Barnadal is back behind the base. Nadal's back there to let the ball slow down and kind of come down from its kicking position. Wow. Returner just staring at that ball, studying the toss. It's very hard to do to pull Nadal up to the front court, that drop shot behind the baseline, and then this is the payoff. See, after the drop shot, Djokovic moves in to take the next one. That's for a break point. Instead of trying to reply with a drop shot down the line, Djokovic gets the really short angle to drop for him. Look at that move, and he slides right into that shot. The Queen of Spain. Can't believe it. Point opportunity for Nadal. the bounce. Notice how he incorporates the forehand inside out. Starts with the serve to open up that. Kind of a dangerous, he kind of second guessed himself, the cross court back. And then it's Raj.